Art of Hell. <laughs> These students are having fun while they learn. They've upgraded the pen and paper to drones and robots. Details on the technology lesson that's expanding the way they think. That's next. For the first time, a Pasco Elementary School teacher is using drones in her classroom. The teacher received the drones through a grant and is just one of the tech gadgets the teacher is using to engage her students. Bay News 9's Josh Rojas has her story. From racing robots to jumping drones. These 4th and 5th grade students at Woodland Elementary School in Zephyr Hills are having fun while they learn. We don't usually get to do stuff like this in other classes. Check out how excited 10-year-old Bobby Hilton gets on this Twitter video when his drone jumps high. Yes, Bobby! Hilton writes the code and controls the drone with an iPad. 9-year-old eight, eight, eight. Okay. LeVar and Pryor programmed his robot to kick a soccer ball between two goalposts. It's kind of a challenge. They're using cutting-edge technology in this elementary school classroom. In fact, this is the first year the students are using drones. For here, there's some jellyfish polyps. The students can thank their teacher, Bobby Starling, for getting them engaged. A lot of the things I have worked hard to get some grants for. Um, our 3D printer I received from a creative teaching grant. I was part of a team that got a grant for aviation and aeronautics to get some flight simulators and different drones that we use in the classroom. Another group of students built an interactive coral reef biome. Touch it and the ground wire to complete the circuit and sounds come out. It's definitely interesting to think about how much you can learn from something that you think is so fun. There's also life cycle tanks that have real animals inside. The gifted and talented teacher is changing the way students learn. In Zephyr Hills, Josh Rojas, Bay News 9. These students also in a robotics competition. Starling says she's been teaching for 24 years. 